Welcome Pisces Aries to your November spiritual reading. Hope your friends are doing great out there. Welcome back all subscribers and anyone new to my channel. Welcome, welcome. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay friends, let's see what's going on with you. I am using the Sacred Traveler deck. Okay, let's see what's going on with Pisces Aries. Let's see if the spirit wants Pisces Aries to know. Voyage of the Heart. Going straight there, straight into the first light, and moving there to the ascending the mountain. Wow. Okay, friends. So, starting this journey with the Voyage of the Heart, this is love flows through you and to you. Um, your sacred traveler wants you to know that you are loved all the time, whether you see it or don't. It is the way it always is. Um, the divine loves you, and to keep your heart open at all given moments in time. So, over here, let's see exactly what we have here. You are beloved, you are deeply loved and profoundly lovable. You are a sacred vessel for love to flow through. God the Creator is love, and you are in His essence. In matters of romance, love, all is healing, um, and even if you're already healed, on the inner planes. Trust the messages from your heart and follow them, even if they are at odds with your mind. Angels and guides are communicating with you. Listen to their soft whispers. So, your sacred traveler wants you to know that tenderness and devotion are finding their way to you. The traveler, that's you, walks with a light heart on the path, knowing that he or she is surrounded with love. It's truly a day for rejoicing. Your capacity for receiving and giving love is expanding. Let your heart lead the way. Okay, so starting the journey with opening the heart. Don't um, allow your heart your heart to be hardened. Okay, and if it is, um, start trying to open your heart. Okay, so receive and give the love. Time for love. This helps you to manifest, get the manifestations that you want, uh, keep the chariot going, um, and keep the karma and angel points always coming towards you okay, with higher vibrations of positivity and love. Okay, so clarifying on that, yes, look at that, accepting. Um, you might have a problem with accepting someone's love. Maybe someone is showing you love, and right now you're having a hard time accepting it or may, or giving it back. Maybe it's both. Like, I'm not sure if you really love me the way um, I love you, or maybe I don't know if I want to really accept your cups of love, because um, I don't know if I know how to give it back at this time. Um, so, okay. Yes. Plant the seeds and start the planning process for um, pretty much opening yourself up to acknowledge and accept the cups of love that is coming towards you, um, or start planting the seeds on learning how to give back the love, right? Because if you've been hurt in the past, yes, I'm posting that. Eight of Swords, if you've been hurt in the past, it's going to be harder to either accept it or give it back or both. Okay, so have the realizations to get rid of the stresses and the anxieties, um, and try to think of ways when meditating of what it is and why it is that you're not accepting or giving love. Or both and this will you know put you on this voyage of the heart to opening this up yes taking control um, and taking back control of the situation okay. first light beginning a new cycle so this is actually once you start having control um, and learning how to accept the love and wanting to open this up um, take it how it resonates either or it's going to open a new cycle for you a very good cycle um, you're not going to feel so in the snow over here um, it's going to feel more springy more summery right no I 
see your problems though. You have the five of cups, you are hurt. Um, on this journey, it is gonna be hard for you to do so because it looks to me like a lot of you have been hurt in love. Um, someone you might definitely be trying to offer cups to, um, some of you, and you're really having a hard time looking behind you to see um, this offering as a, um, a good potential for you. Or is it true? Is it real? Um, you know, and you keep looking at the Three of Cups. So there is some healing involved in this situation. Um, you won't 100% be able to get to the new cycle unless you heal. Um, because this is a learning lesson and a spiritual lesson. Um, so let's see what the first light says. The card meaning is a new day has begun in your life. You are at the beginning of the new cycle. It's time to release the old and start again. Release that. Look behind you and see the Two of Cups. Um, wipe the slate clean. Although it's often difficult to release familiar routines, situations, and relationships that no longer empower you, it's now time to set your sights on the, the future and let go of the past. So you're going to try to let go of those past hurts and try to um, be more accepting and willing to want to get to the voyage of the heart. Um, and yeah, it's like you're trying, you'll be trying to do this, and yes, you're going to run into this, what's going to seem like an obstacle. Um, the Sacred Traveler wants you to know that you, the traveler, faces east towards the sunrise and affirms that the new day and new cycle has begun. New beginnings are often fraught with the unknown. If the sacred traveler has observed on the extended journey that life goes in a cycle. In the cycle of life, the plant dies in autumn and then has a new rebirth in spring. So we want you to pretty much, it's trying to tell you it's time to let these go and have a new rebirth of the heart. Really getting that heart chakra going so that you can feel fresh and new again. Oh, wow, yes. Sit still, listen, listen, and become comfortable. Um, and when you do so, you'll be able to um, be able to logically think about the things that are going on around you, logically think about how you're going to get rid of these three of cups and look backwards to the two of cups. You'll be able to um, observe and understand things better um, from a relaxed point of view. Yes, because you're going to then have the understanding and it will give you better power to, even though you're hurt, you'll have a better push, right? And have this better determination to move forward into um, wanting to heal and wanting to do so and wanting this new cycle to come through. And the more you're more determined to get past this, you guys, the more that cycle will um, start really moving for you. Yes, into your Nine of Cups. So this Nine of Cups is kind of now in between here and ascending this mountain. So now that you're doing the things you're supposed to be doing, you can start now ascending the mountain and keep going forward strong. Yes. Yes. Continuing to let go of the pain. Continuing to heal and let go of things that no longer serve you. Just don't go back to the basics of over here. Try not to have any of those um, thoughts and memories and stuff try to come um, back. Try to take control of not allowing the negative because it's going to happen, right? As soon as you're in a healing process, those negative things are going to want to try to worm its way back through, um, telling you this and that and that and this. Okay, so keep being determined to keep moving forward so that you can get the achievements um, that you're looking for with the Ten of Pentacles. And this is going to also be a very freeing time for you. Um, you're going to feel very light and very free. Um, getting back to the happiness that you once had, you're going to start feeling it again, and your soul is going to be free. And you're going to feel like this cloud is no longer over you. It's going to free your heart since we started over here. So you're going to feel much better. Okay. So this is a time to free your, yourself. And ascending the mountain and continuing to go that way is going to be very freeing for you. For sure. That's the only word I keep hearing is it's going to free you. You're going to be freed. Um, the card means the journey might be hard right now, but the view awaits you. You most certainly can achieve your goal. However, you must continue forward through the hard work and diligence. Do not give up. That's that tower. Do not go backwards. You got this. Even if it seems hard, keep going forward. Even if sometimes it seems that you're going up three steps and falling back to two, you are still getting closer to your goal. 
Sometimes you may need to take smaller steps, but do not stop. Every small step takes you closer to the peak of the mountain. Sacred Traveler wants you to know it's okay to stumble or fall down. Just don't stay down. That's that. Don't go backwards again. Once again, that tower there. Do not allow yourself to be limited by the beliefs of others or even by your own limiting beliefs or fears. Go beyond boundaries of self-imposed barriers. Live passionately and courageously. Keep moving forward fiercely. Speak up for yourself. Honor your truth. This is the time, is not the time, excuse me, to be timid or hold back. Go forward. You are a light barrier for others. And that's really awesome because you have the sun here at the end, the light barrier of others. It's, you know, it's like you freed your soul. Um, you're going to be, you know, people are going to say, wow, what happened? Um, you know, what happened to you? You look different. You look like you're glowing. You look like the sun. And you're going to be like, wow, I've been on this journey and it was crazy, right? It was crazy hard. I mean, look at me. It was crazy hard. Look at this. You don't believe me? Look at my nine of wands over here. It was crazy. Okay, so, yeah. You're going to be like, wow, that's awesome. And I do really feel like there's going to be people over here that are just going to be like, wow, Pisces, Aries, you came a long ways, and that's so awesome. And it could even be this person over here who's trying to give the cups of love to you. They will notice you and just be like, wow, I, I can't believe you did it. You know, you did that. So proud of you. And um, yes, this is all going to be about control. Very beautiful. Taking the control, being in control, um, being in control of the situation, taking control of your life and your freedom back to be able to enjoy what the heart has to offer without feeling like there's a cloud over it all the time or I have to keep it closed because if I don't, people hurt me. No. You're going to learn to take the control. You're going to learn to open it up. And then you're going to set these boundaries. You're going to set boundaries for yourself so that you can tell people, you know what? You can't do this. I'm not going to allow that. You can do this, but you can't do that. Right? Now, is it always going to 100% help us from getting hurt? Of course not. I wish I could say it would. Um, that's not it. But hopefully what it's going to do is it's not going to bring you back to this place again it will hurt but hopefully not ever again like it did before by making yourself more in control of how people are allowed to get too close right okay so going straight to 10 it says you can change your life in an instant it is important to realize this it is easy to fall into a trap of feeling like a victim or circumstance your family history, or anything else that leaves you feeling helpless. Take responsibility for yourself and your feelings, and you decide how to feel and decide to be in charge. Like I said before, yes, taking charge over here with the Four of Pentacles. So yes, everything. every time that happens, you're going to be re releasing all of this negative and saying, no, it's not going to happen like that. Okay? So... Very awesome, my friends, and until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.